Hello and welcome to Southside Garage. This will be uh, part three of painting the rear fender. So in this video we'll have a look at what's involved in removing the rear fender. I'm probably going to take off a little bit more stuff than what's actually necessary because at the same time uh, it, I'm going to be um, taking the airbox out of the motorcycle as well. But uh, you'll get a good idea of what's involved and where all the bolts are and what size they are and so on to re remove the fender then I won't uh, bother showing you putting the other one back on because it'll just be the reverse of of what you saw at the start and uh, so let's get on with it now that we have the bike up on a stand what we're going to do first is remove these chrome covers on both sides they're held on by a 5mm allen key bolt from underneath uh, we'll remove this plastic cover here, remove the seat, that's a 12 mil bolt there, remove the side cover, it just pops off, like that, and also this chrome cover, 5 mil Allen key bolt on the bottom there and also the rack and there it's held on by four six mil allen key bolts two on each side so we'll get that done remove the battery that's a Torx 30 the battery strap and then your two 10 mil or Phillips head screwdrivers for your terminals I'd suggest that you do this one first so as that you don't arc your spanner or or a screwdriver or whatever up against the frame from the positive terminal so that one first that one second and then remove the battery next we're going to remove the mufflers on both sides there are 10 mil clamp just there on this side you'll have the gear lever as well to take off it's a 5mm Allen key and then these two bolts here are 12mm and then you'll be able to take your mufflers off. Next we're going to remove this plastic cover. That's a Torx 30, that bolt there. Uh, this one here is 8mm. We just unclip the sensor from there, lift this cover and sensor off together. And we should be able to unplug the loom for the uh, tail light and the indicators from in behind there. So this one here, this is the plug that goes to the loom for your tail light and indicators. So we'll unplug that and we'll also back these bolts off here. They're, they're a 14 mil bolt. We'll just back those out a little bit. So these struts uh, are loose and not so tied up against the mud guard. So when we remove the guard and fit the other one, we have less chance of scratching it. Now we're going to remove the rear wheel. So what we've done is put a jack underneath the swing arm. We've jacked it up a little bit. Get this wheel out of here. Um, the tools are a uh, 22 mil spanner or socket on there and the two caliper bolts that one and that one they're both 14 mil around on this side chain guard torx 30 torx 40 and that's a 24 mil now that the rear wheel's been removed the next thing we'll be doing is undoing that 8mm bolt right there uh, and taking the shockies off and dropping the swing arm down and that will allow us to get in here and, and uh, take these bolts out and get this mud guard out. Uh, so what I'm going to do from here because I'm going to be dropping the swing arm and the jack is underneath the swing arm at the moment. I'll jack it up a little bit 
higher from where it is and then I'll place some blocks of wood between the frame rails and the stand and then I'll remove the jack and whilst I'm working on the mud guard and the airbox. Before I go any further, I just want to explain a couple of things. Uh, this, this is why I removed the, the mufflers uh, so I can get in there easily and jack it up and so on. But also to drop the swing arm, because the air, we've got to drop the swing arm down, we don't really need to take it off. We just need to release the shock absorbers or remove the shock absorbers and let the um, swing arm hang down and we should be able to pull the air box straight out, out the back here. Uh, but yeah, the, the mufflers would, would, the swing arm would hit the mufflers if I left them on and I wasn't sure uh, whether I'm going to need to go all the way down to get the air box out or whatever. So it was just as easy to remove the mufflers and also easy for this process to, to jack the bike up and block it up and so on. Um, just be very careful when you jacking underneath your frame rails keeping in mind your oil filters there it hangs down a little bit below your frame rail so you don't want to hit that with your jack or anything like that and then snap your engine cases which you're going to be in a world of trouble otherwise and also the sump hangs down virtually level with the bottom of the frame rails too so you don't really want to put anything under there uh, this nut here that I mentioned earlier going to remove that uh, before we remove the shock absorbers so uh, you know, we don't want that binding up in there or whatever when the swing arm drops down so we'll just uh, remove it from there undo the shockies and uh, drop the swing arm so that's next the top and bottom shocky bolts they're both 12 mil so we're going to go ahead and take those out now. Okay, four bolts left to go now. We could remove the rear fender. There's uh, two Torx 40 bolts under here. One there and one there. And if we go up on top, these two bolts here, they're both 12 mil. Remove those and we should be able to get the rear fender straight out of there. So this is where we're at now. We've got the rear fender out. Uh, next will be the air box. Um, I'll just show you real quick the tools I used all day today uh, just to remove the rear fender. Pretty simple really. 22mm ring spanner. 24mm ring spanner. That was for the uh, rear axle. It's a Phillips head screwdriver for the battery terminals. I use a quarter inch drive socket on, on the small bolts like 8mm and so on. So I've got a quarter inch drive, 8mm socket, a Torx 30 bit and a Torx 40 bit, a 5mm Allen key and a 6mm Allen key. And then the bigger sockets, the uh, half inch drive ones, uh, it's got an extension. Uh, 12, 13 and 14 mil socket. That's all I've used and I'll just show you all the parts we pulled off with those tools. So that's everything there that we've taken off today. So moving on now to the airbox removal.